Hey, what's up? Welcome into Movement Parallels Life for this combo workout of primal movement and kettlebells. All right, I'm going to go ahead and assume that you read the description on this video so we can jump right into things. We're going to start off with our first minute here performing some side bent sit hip switches. This is the swivel switch, so keep your feet in contact with the ground and take your knees from side to side. You can expand this movement by reaching across your body into a stretch or by rising up into a split kneel. We're keeping things at a warm up intensity for the first five or six minutes before we even touch the kettlebell. So take this opportunity to get connected to your breathing, stretch and mobilize, and listen to your body. That's going to be your cue to check the screen because we're switching movements. Next up, we've got knee hand hip rolls. From your knee hand position, shift your weight, sit to the side and roll across your hips. Finish the roll by ending in your knee hand position, kneeling or half kneeling. Next, we'll move on to knee hand hip circles. Maintain a stable position with your core braced and one leg at a time begin stepping through a full range of motion circle. Switch sides every five to 10 reps. Next up, we've got half kneeling step outs with reaching. Begin in a low kneeling position and then step forward into a half kneel. Shift your weight and extend your arm into a reach. Start to add some variation here by stepping and reaching at different angles. Each repetition will give you some feedback about your mobility at your hip, knee, and ankle. Compare your two sides and focus in on the angles and the stretches that feel best for you. Next, we'll move on to crawl rollovers. From a foot hand crawl position, step one leg across your body, extending through your hip to reach for the ground. Touch down and pause for a moment in this inverted position, and then reach your arm back across your body, pulling you back to the foot hand crawl, and then switch sides. Vary this movement by performing it with your knees hovering low to the ground or with your hips piked in the air.
Next, come into a seated position for figure four rock-ups. Round your spine as you rock back. Use momentum to rock up and with figure four legs, transition into a half kneeling position. Elongate your spine as you rock up and extend into a reach. Find the mobility through your hips and ankles. Explore different stretches by reaching at different angles. We'll start shifting gears out of our mobility warm up into our workout, starting with plank shoulder taps. Set up a strong plank position with locked out arms, straight legs, brace your core and squeeze your glutes. In an alternating fashion, lift one hand and tap your opposite shoulder. Allow little to no rotation in your body. Now lower your knees to the ground and set up a foot hand crawl position. Next up, we've got crawling get ups. With opposite hand foot steps, crawl forwards, backwards, and then transition to standing. And as you go through this transition to standing, be mindful of not dropping your head or excessively rounding your spine. Even though this is just a drill, the larger goal is to be able to move fluidly and maintain an awareness of what's going on around you. That's time. Now we'll transition into our first kettlebell movement, the single arm swing. Maintain a braced core and use the explosive drive of your hips to push the bell up with every swing. Sync your breathing with the movement by taking a short, powerful exhalation at the top of the swing, followed by a quick sip of air. Take a moment to pause before we switch sides on those single arm swings. Get set and go. Really focus in on producing the power from the drive of your hips rather than a pull from your arm or your back. Drive your feet through the ground and your hips forward to make the bell float at the top of the swing.
Next up, we've got goblet squats. Hoist your kettlebell up to chest height, get set, and go. Keep your shoulders back and your core braced as you pull yourself down between your hips into your deep squat. With each deep squat, allow your elbows to touch your knees while still maintaining your long spine. Add variation to your squats by changing your foot placement. All right, that's time. Kettlebells down. Now we'll return to the ground. Next up, we've got push-ups with a crawl rollover. This is the same crawl rollover movement that we saw early in this workout. Now we're increasing the speed and adding a push-up. As you roll over, load your weight into the ground and then push off to dynamically transition back to your plank position and into your push-up. All right, now we're on to a lateral shuffle crawl with a tuck jump. From a low crouch position, reach out to the side. Plant your hands and push into the ground, jumping your feet past your hands. After about four to six lateral crawls, stabilize yourself and then explode upwards into a tuck jump. Modify the movement and your intensity to match where you're at today. That's time, we're moving on, so come back up to standing, back to your kettlebell, and we're on to figure eights. With an open stance, drop the kettlebell between your legs like you would with a single arm swing. Your opposite arm will reach around the outside of your leg and catch the kettlebell. After you pass the kettlebell off to your opposite hand, pull the bell back around into the next figure eight or into your palm for a brief catch. That's time. Take a few seconds to rest and transition. Next up, we've got halos. Set up a strong, stable stance. Hold the kettlebell by the horns upside down at chest level. Pull the kettlebell around your head and back in front of your chest in a circular fashion. You can switch direction every few repetitions or wait for my cue. We're halfway through. If you haven't switched directions yet, now's the time.
kettlebells down and let's take a quick break mostly because i am sweating buckets it's hot but i'm out here working for y'all the most challenging stretch of this workout is coming up next so wipe the sweat grab some water buckle up because things are about to get weird let's go we're jumping back in literally with lateral jumps and sprawls this is another very dynamic and intense movement pattern, so it's important that you find the right progression or the right version of this movement for you. Scale the intensity of your jumps and the speed of your sprawls so you can keep your focus on quality. That's time. Take a brief pause and catch your breath. Next, we're on to foot hand and inverted crawling. Alternate freely between these two crawls and use this interval to control your breathing and actively recover. For the next interval, you've got a choice of V-ups, Russian twists, or a mix of both. Lie on your back, brace your core, and in one dynamic motion, lift your legs and sit up and reach for your toes. For your Russian twist, find a strong seated position with your core braced. Hold your kettlebell and rotate from side to side. Set your kettlebell aside and we'll move on to rolling single leg squat get ups. Round your spine and rock back. Use your momentum to rock up onto one foot. Stand up from your single leg squat. This is a challenging movement, but you can make modifications by using a standard squat or a figure four get up. That's time. We're back to the kettlebell and onto single arm clean and press. Use the drive of your hips to hoist the kettlebell up to the rack position. Keep your elbow close to your body to avoid having the kettlebell drift too far out in front of you. From the rack position, strengthen your legs, glutes, and core as you press the bell overhead.
Park your kettlebell for a moment, but we're going to stay working with this same arm. Next up, we've got the bottoms up hold. Maintain your total body tension to stabilize the kettlebell in this bottoms up position. For an extra challenge, you can incorporate a few squats, lunges, or walk around. Lower your kettlebell and take a few deep breaths before we go back and repeat those two movements with the other arm. One arm clean and press, get set, and go. Get ready for your bottoms up hold, get set, and go. All right, park your kettlebell and now we're back to body weight. We're moving on to diving push-ups and pike push-ups. Go. Stick with either one of these push-up progressions or add a mix of both. You can tell by the look on my face that the next movement we're getting into is the squat bounce. Find your squat position and pulse up and down just a few inches. Bounce five to seven times before you switch your feet to a new squat stance. Continue on through the burn and through the tears.
Are you as glad as I am that that one's over? All right, bring it up to standing, back over to the kettlebell, we're on to snatches. Powerful hip drive and guide the kettlebell upward, staying close to your body. As the bell rises overhead, punch through and lock out. Lower the kettlebell and take a quick rest, but we're going to stay working on this same arm. Next up, we've got windmills. Stabilize the kettlebell overhead with a locked out arm. Keep your core strong and your spine long as you hip hinge with slight rotation, keeping the kettlebell aligned overhead. Work within your range of motion and keep your knees slightly bent as needed so you can maintain a safe spinal alignment. Take a moment to rest and reset before we go back through those two movements with the other arm. Get set and snatch. Park your kettlebell and take a few seconds to rest. Get set, and we're back with windmills. Go. All right, that's time. And we've just got one more movement before we start our cool down. Let's finish things off with hand-to-hand -hand swings.
All right, that's time. Now let's stretch out. We'll start with squat lateral shifting. Set up a wide stance. Shift your weight to one side sitting into a deep squat. You can fold forward or work on pulling your hips down and keeping your chest up. Smoothly shift your weight from side to side or briefly rise up to standing in between shifts. Next, transition into wide stance hinges. Maintain your same wide stance, but rise up to standing and center yourself. Spread the floor and keep your thigh bones externally rotated in the hip socket. You want to avoid the inward collapse of your knees and feet. Hinge forward at the hips, maintaining an elongated spine. Allow your knees to slightly bend if necessary. As you hinge forward, reach your hips back. Feel the weight evenly distributed across the soles of your feet. Move in and out of the hinge, supporting the stretch with strength. Maintain your open stance, but rotate your body and will transition to an extended lunge, split hinge combination. Adjust your stance according to what feels best for your body. Perform your lunge stretch with your knee elevated or touching the ground. Press the ball of your back foot down into the ground. Actively pull into the crease of your front hip. Keep your front foot flat or roll to the outer edge of your foot, opening your hip. You can have your hands rooted to the ground or stay upright. To transition to the split hinge, simply begin to straighten your front leg. Keep your shoulders back and maintain a longish spine as you hinge forward from the hips. Now switch your stance and continue working your extended lunge and split hinge. Next, transition to a plank position and we'll flow through a spinal wave. Push the ground away and elevate your hips to come into a high hip crawl position. Allow your spine to round like a cat as you shift your weight forward. Then begin to press your hips to the ground and open up into spinal extension. Lower yourself down to the ground and rise up. Round your spine and shift your weight back to your heels. Press into the ground, elevate your hips, and return to your high hip crawl. Continue rolling through these spinal waves at your own pace.
And finally, we'll finish today's practice with a long sit stretch. Extend your legs in an open straddle or straight out in front of you. Sit up tall, keeping your spine long and pelvis tilting forward. Hinge forward from your hips to intensify the stretch. Lean at different angles, reach or rotate. All right, y'all, that's another one in the books. Congratulations on making it through this tough workout. And thank you so much for taking time out of your day to come move and sweat with me. As always, if you enjoyed this workout, smash that like button, leave me a comment, and subscribe to the channel. And if you're digging this combination of primal movement and kettlebell work, then I know you're going to love what I have to offer over on the Playbook app. I've got a wide array of exclusive follow-along videos and training programs that you can access right from your phone and train with me anywhere. So check out the link below in the description and try your first month for just $1. All right, y'all, that's it for me. I'm out of here. You keep on flowing, and I'll see you in the next video.